Some people question why a museum of the future would exist. The assumption is that a museum is dedicated to the past, but for us, the past and the future and the present are all existing on a continuum, and we're all part of the same thing. A dedicated space encouraging people to think about that and feel part of that is as important as any museum. My name is Brendan McGetrick. I'm the creative director of Museum of the Future. What we wanted to do in all of our future environments is make people aware of challenges or possibilities that exist in the present and show how with the right energy or the right policies they could be developed into something in the future. The worlds that you would encounter are not predictions, they are challenges. We work very hard to make it feel different than a typical museum. We don't do any of the traditional museum making techniques of having labels, having curatorial text telling you basically what's happening because our feeling is that sort of stretching people out of their comfort zone and helps push their own thinking about the future in a way that can be really beneficial. Anyways, you can scan it, try to scan it. scan it. We think that a museum of the future is encouraging people to understand that it's something that we make. The future isn't something that just arrives passively, it's something that we actively create through our ideas and through our actions. We have environments that are almost like film sets that try to make it clear that you are in a futuristic place. We genuinely wanted people to feel transported. You are a resident or a, an explorer of that future, and the different experiences you have are your own. So the Museum of the Future is very much an extension of its city, Dubai. It's a place where you can visit a lot of the areas where Dubai is focused most intensely at the moment. Space, sustainability, and wellness. Like all the exhibitions, the space station is interactive and allows people to explore its content however they want. The library is one of our sort of outstanding features in the museum. It's basically a vault of genetic code. One of the things we wanted to do with the library is make people aware that many of these species are endangered. Certain species, when you scan them, the jar glows red and you find out that they've already become extinct. One of the things that we were very committed to and we remain committed to is making sure that we didn't create a museum that was only for people who are interested in sci-fi or only interested in technology. We tried to make sure that when you visit these places, even if the sort of look of it is unfamiliar, what's happening there and the sort of values and the aspirations behind it are com completely recognizable. We don't present ourselves as forecasters or as people who are predicting the future. We make it clear that what you're experiencing are visions of the future, they're possibilities. What the Museum of the Future is trying to do is empower people to feel that the future is theirs and that they can have a role in it.